All right, we're back. Woo. So we are going to show you how to transplant our tomatoes, kale, and Swiss chard. Okay, for those of you who remember when I planted these, um, I planted two of the heirloom beef and two of the heirloom brandy wine. Only one brandy wine came up. The other one is nowhere to be found. So we're gonna go with that. The brandy wine is not doing the best, but it is starting to get somewhat of a true leaf where the beef steaks have their true leaves. You can see these leaves right here. So these two leaves on the outer side are the ones that they originally start with and then the true leaves start. Now it's time to transplant and uh, Haley's going to do it. So Haley's going to explain. Oh, I can explain? You, you can explain. Okay, so usually we had them in like the plugs at the farm so you'd have to make sure you pulled the whole plug out with the roots. In a little container you can just grab your fingers right down into the soil and pull out the whole plug. Then in your cup or container that you're putting it in, you want to get it deep as it can go. So even if your leaves are just touching the top of the soil, that's gonna give you a healthier, stronger plant because the roots can travel all the way up. The roots will start sprouting out of the stem and if you're growing indoors during the winter, you notice your tomatoes will get like long and lanky, searching for light. So that way you can kind of start fresh. And if you have good light source, they'll be a little bit more sturdier. Yeah. And each time you transplant, so these are going to be transplanted into a bigger pot later on, of course. Yeah. Each time you transplant into a bigger pot, you do that same thing. You transplant plant as deep as they can go. So two beefs. And we've marked the containers. Um, just so we know which is which for the tomatoes. Kale and Swiss, we'll know what it is. And that's and not. this little guy, mm -hmm. be a little bit more careful with him. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see what he does. And this is why when you, tr when you do plant seeds, if you want just one tomato plant, that's fine, but make sure you plant a couple because chances are one might not germinate and that's mm -hmm. what happened in this case and i'm not even sure if that guy's going to survive i think he I will think he will um but we'll keep you updated on that so that is the tomatoes super easy to do at home and then these are going to go under the light though on my uh veg truck mm -hmm. station so um just to help with the growth with the um herb garden that we did in the last video we don't have to put them under the light. Well, we can if we wanted, but they're going to sit on our kitchen windowsill. So, a little bit of water. We don't have a... Can somebody send a watering can, please? <laughs> I don't have a watering can. Just I'll have to pack the dirt down a bit, and then we will dump that extra water out, and they can really get a good drain. Yeah. And then tomatoes like to be moist. Quite moist, so make sure you stay on top of their watering. And again, we are using the Pro Mix. This is the uh, seed starting mix, but again, it will work for this transplant. All right, now we're gonna be on to kale. And with the kale, <clears throat> when you have the same as the tomatoes, when you have just those very first, like the two leaves I was talking about, like the two side leaves, you don't wanna transplant them until they have the true leaves coming in. And with the kale, the same thing, you've got the two, oh, the two, two yeah, these two are the, um, what do you call them? When, you, when your seed is germinating, these are the two leaves that come up, and then you start getting your true leaf, which is the curly, and this is going to be the curly kale, so that's when you know it's safe to transplant. And with kale, um, it's a brassica. So brassicas, when they're planted, they like to be planted in and packed deep. So we're, okay, you go ahead, tail. Tell them oh, what you're you doing. go ahead. I'm just doing the same thing. Scooped up the roots with the plants. I'm not going to do these as deep as the tomatoes, but a little deeper. A right? little deeper, and then you pack. Are you just doing two? I'm going to do 
maybe a couple more. Okay. Because these are going to go into bigger pots, right? Yes, yes. So maybe maybe four in each. Because you do get a lot of kale off each plant. Mm -hmm. So we can do more containers later on and give them to neighbors or whatever. And uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens with these. I think they're going to do great. Mm -hmm. Try and take the biggest ones. So see, and she's just packing it down tight. And with brassicas, you do, you do do that. You do do that. You do do that. <laughs> there, so there's a kale. Woo. Onto the Swiss chard. I'm trying to follow you. I'm gonna make <laughs> people dizzy. <laughs> Smarty pants. <laughs> um, how many do you want in these? I think just four. The same, okay. Because they grow big, and you can, with the kale and the Swiss chard, like I said when I was doing the seeding, um, you take multi harvests off them, so it's not just a one time harvest. You'll pick the bigger leaves, and they just continue to grow. So, but again, these are going to go into bigger pots. And don't forget, I have very limited space here, so we can't have a ton of plants growing. But I will do some of these and send them off to other people. Whoever would like some or to try it. So, I mean, gardening at home, guys, is pretty pretty simple. You don't need a whole lot of space. Um, the tomatoes, however, when they start growing, will the veg truck will do it, do fine. I might have to get another one, and I'll definitely have to get more lighting. But we will figure that out as we go. So that's it. That is it. How awesome is that? So maybe what we'll do is take pictures, um, say every, I don't know, every week? Every week, yeah. Once a week, maybe once every four days, whatever. And uh, just kind of, I'll put it into a, almost like a uh, time lapse of week of, for yeah. week of how, how, how much they grow. And uh, I mean, if I find that they're growing super fast, soup, yeah, um, we'll do it more pictures more pictures more often so that's it that's how easy it is and uh go get uh planting some dirt and yeah get and just start with dirt. one thing if you're if this is too much for you pick one thing and try that yeah for and sure. then if that works out pick something else yep yeah. yep yeah. but this just gives you an idea of how simple it is yeah. and use just cups you have at home oh we forgot to mention did we mention that there's holes in the bottom of these I don't know. We did put holes in the bottom. I put four holes just with a sharp knife and uh, make sure that you do have drain holes in yeah. them. And give these guys a little bit of water too once you're done. Yeah. So there we go. Sweet. Short and sweet video. And uh, we will think of something to do next time. Actually, if anybody has any ideas, shoot them our way and maybe we'll do a video for you on whatever you want to know, like something simple. If you're having a hard time growing anything at home, we will guide you. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.